In beach volleyball, there's two main ways to set the ball. One way is to pass or bump set the ball, and that's done with your arms. The other way is to hand set it, and that's done with your hands. Typically, more women end up bump setting the ball, and men more often end up hand setting the ball. Some say this is because men have bigger hands. When you're hand setting a ball, you still have to get the same positioning with your legs, but instead what you're gonna do is create a triangle with your hands over your forehead and then extend upwards. The rules for hand setting are more strict. The ball cannot be doubled. That means you have to contact the ball at the same time with your hands. Usually if the ball spins, that's an indication that you've doubled the ball and the ref will call for the other team's point. When you're bump setting, you don't have to worry about a potential double call. As with passing, it's really important to have the right footwork when you're setting. You wanna make sure that you're slightly behind the ball and have your feet about evenly spread apart, about shoulder width. You wanna make sure that you're balanced when you're setting and that you're facing your target. When you're setting, you typically wanna set your partner anywhere from one to five feet off the net, but it varies depending on your partner's preference. If you set too tight or too close to the net, your partner might get blocked. If you set too far off the net, they might have trouble seeing the court when they're hitting. After you set, it's important to give your partner a call. You wanna say line, angle, one up, nobody. These calls let your partner know where the block is or where the defense is or where the open spot is. And that's how you set a beach volleyball. Some tips for serving in beach volleyball to help you get a more accurate serve are as follows. The most important part about serving is your toss. Getting a consistent toss will increase the accuracy of your serve. I like to start with my hand already on my right side to my right arm. And then I toss, step, and let the ball drop. And I watch where the ball drops. And if it's in front of my right foot and lined up with my left foot, then I know I've got a consistent toss. And I will practice that toss over and over again so the ball drops in the same place. I also do it with my eyes closed, toss, step, and catch the ball in the Statue of Liberty or let the ball hit my hand. If I can do that with my eyes closed, then I know I have a consistent toss. A couple factors you have to remember are that there's wind in beach volleyball. So when you toss, the ball may blow with the wind. So you have to counterbalance by tossing a little bit into the wind so it blows back to where you want it to be. A couple other tips for serving is to pick an area that you want to hit before you serve the ball. That way you have a better chance of hitting it. What you're thinking before you serve actually plays a big role into what ends up happening. If it's pressure time in a game and you're thinking, please don't miss this serve, you're actually more likely to miss the serve because all you're thinking about is missing. Your thoughts are very powerful in the sand. So thinking positive things when you're playing will actually enable you to perform them under pressure. I also like to reset if for some reason I'm unsettled when I'm serving. Sometimes you're all ready to serve and then the whistle gets blown or a player needs to wipe her glasses or they fix the line and they're trying to interrupt your train of thought. So I like to drop the ball completely and then pick it back up and reset back to what I was thinking before. I'm serving such and such and such, toss and execute. Those are a couple tips for getting accurate serves in beach volleyball. There are several different kinds of serves in beach volleyball that you can utilize when you're playing. However, one of the most used serves is a float serve. One of the great things about the float serve on the, on the beach is that there is a lot of wind. A float serve is a serve where you contact the ball flat, the ball floats. If you're able to do that consistently and there's wind, the ball is going to float a lot more. It is a lot harder to track and pass a ball that's moving than it is to track and pass a ball that has topspin. A topspin serve hits this way and drops, and so the wind doesn't affect a topspin serve the way it affects a float serve. A float serve, you're going to toss the ball up in front of your right hand, you lean back, and then you make contact high, but you make it flat hand, flat palm on the ball. A couple things to avoid when you're float serving is how your hand contacts the ball. This is, can be called Ice Cream Cone or Miss America. We're not waving down a parade. We want to contact the volleyball solidly. So I want you to think about having a solid bear paw and contacting it with your full hand. Also, if you have soft, weak hands, then it's going to fluff the ball and you won't get that solid contact. A solid high five contact on the ball will enable you to get that float. You also want to contact the ball in the middle of the ball to get the float. If you contact it underneath, it will shoot up you contact it on top, it will drop down. So there's a happy medium when you're on the medium meat of the ball and you're hitting it with the meat of your hand.
to engage that float serve. Don't end up wristing, because that's a top spin. Finish and high five. To get instant feedback on the ball, toss, step, and leave your hand up for about three seconds, and it'll give you instant feedback without a coach to what happened to the ball. If you contacted it this way, and the ball went that way, you're gonna get instant feedback to yourself. Same if you contact the ball this way. You want to ideally toss, step, and contact the ball head on, and then you can slowly work on different places to hit the ball. And those are a couple of tips and techniques to float serve in beach volleyball. In beach volleyball, you can add speed to your serve by doing a jump serve. When people refer to a jump serve, they're usually talking about someone jumping and hitting the ball with top spin. There's a different kind of serve called a float jump serve that we'll talk about in a different video. The most important part of a jump serve is the toss. You want a good, consistent toss. What you want to do is usually create some spin. You can toss with either your left or your right hand. I prefer tossing with my right hand. You want to toss the ball a little bit into the court and high enough for you to take an approach as if you were hitting to serve it over the net. If you toss it too far behind you, you're going to have to look up to hit the ball and you're going to lose sight of the court and your target. If you toss it too far in front of you, you're going to end up potentially serving it into the net or foot faulting, which means when you step inside the court while serving. A jump serve uses top spin. You give yourself a high enough toss and then you hit the ball and wrap your hand over the top of the ball to create a top spin. When the wind is blowing directly in your face as you're serving, this is a good time to do the jump serve. This means that it can drop short right in front of your opponents as you serve. It can be very deceptive. The jump serve can be a little bit more inconsistent than a standing serve, but it's also more powerful. So it just depends on what your strategy is. And that's how you jump serve in beach volleyball. When you block in beach volleyball, you're close to the net and you press your hands over the net. You do this for two purposes. One, to either block the ball onto your opponent's side of the net, or two, to redirect the ball to your partner who's digging behind you. There's two basic blocks, line and angle. A line block means that you're blocking the line straight behind you, and the angle block means that you're blocking the angle side of the court. Your defender fills in the space that you're not blocking. When you're up at the net, you let your partner know which way you're going to block. A one means you're blocking line, and a two means you're blocking angle. You show this to your partner so that they know where to stand when they're playing defense. One, you wanna wear sunscreen to protect yourself. Two, you want to wear sunglasses to protect your eyes from the sun. You also want to take care of your nutrition. You want to drink water frequently and make sure that you eat enough, especially when you're playing in a tournament. It's okay to wear a necklace if you'd like, but a necklace such as this length is a little bit too long. It can come up and hit you in the face. When it comes to earrings, it's better to wear studs or nothing at all. You don't want to wear something dangly or hoops that can get caught. When you slap your partner's hand, it can hurt their hand or your fingers can swell. When it comes to safety on the court, it's important to communicate with your partner to avoid any kind of collision. Also, when you're close to the net, when you're hitting or blocking, make sure to not get too close or step under the net because you can land on each other's feet. And that's basic safety for beach volleyball. When you're serving in beach volleyball, you want to face your body into the court. If you're right-handed, you'll have your left foot slightly in front of your right foot. Most right-handers tend to hold the ball in their left hand. You want to toss the ball in front of you, in front of your right shoulder, like this. When you get ready to serve, you're going to pull your right arm back, or your dominant hand, and you're going to toss the ball up and contact it with a strong surface. You want your wrist to be strong and your hand to be wide. A very common serve is the float serve, and that means that you're trying to put a little pop on the ball with your hand. The ball basically doesn't spin, but it kind of moves, and it'll move in the wind, like this. Another kind of serve is a topspin serve, where you actually put spin on the ball. The ball will rotate like this, and it tends to drop in front of the passer. When you do a topspin serve, you wrap your hand around the top of the ball, like this. 
When you do a float serve, you keep your hands straight and flat like this. In beach volleyball, your serve can touch the net as long as it goes over and in the court. And that's how you serve a beach volleyball.